a section of politicians are in Nairobi County accusing the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission of double standards in the ongoing clearance of aspirants. David Oteno, an independent candidate, and Nelson Harvey of UDA party, all seeking the Westlands parliamentary seats, claimed the commission blocked them from being accompanied by supporters. Yet another candidate was allowed to access the venue with his supporters. David Otieno, an independent candidate, and Nelson Harvey from UDA complained of double standards from IEBC and police for allowing Tim Wanyonye with his supporters while they were allowed to be accompanied by only five people. When we reached the point of uh, print generating the certificate from the system, the system collapsed. So we have been trying to ask them what is happening. The arrow has told us that it's happening countrywide. I was told there is a two hour delay meaning that uh, whereas I was number five on the list, they were still on number two. The explanation given was a systems failure, and systems do fail. I do not uh, want to suppose that there is a failure of uh, personnel uh, on the part of uh, the staff here. It's a system failure. The two also challenged IEBC to improve on time management, saying it was taking unnecessarily long to get clearance. Their sentiments were reiterated by Westland's member of parliament, Tim Wanyonyi, who urged IEBC as an institution to up their game so as to restore the voters' trust as we head to the next general elections. Kama kufanya mtu moja hape na chukua karibu three hours, masama tatu, na kupika kura ya mbaya itakuwa na watu maelefu, itakuwa na mnagani. Minaona lazima IBC ambio wa Kenya, their level of preparedness kwa hii election, iko na mnagani. IEBC's returning officer for Westlands constituency, Mudega Kuru, said they are working on the challenges they faced and that as an institution, they will ensure the whole verification process is free and fair. So it's not about uh, lack of capacity. It's just a teething problem. You know, when a system is on its first day, you would experience some of these things. But I believe we'll come over it. In Kiambu County, aspirants from different parties and independent candidates face the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission panel for clearance. Now, Kenya, all over the country, to Juya Kwamba, this is our country. You should love it and you should protect it at all time and at all cost. Elsewhere in Kisi County, several aspirants have been given a green light by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to vie for elective seats. Yeah, I've been duly uh, uh, cleared by IPC to run as a member of parliament in the, on the 9th of uh, August uh, 2022. Natakia wapisani wangu pia Helen Nafanaka katika kambeni zetu, kambeni sio vita. This despite technical hitches on the first day of the exercise. Jellies Aladi, following time news.